What's up, Authentic fam? Welcome back, Authentic Alphas. Okay, all right, so listen, I've been calling her Pocahontas all evening, but uh, w what is your actual name? My name is Victoria. My artist's name is Via terrible jokes like what's your secret all the time yeah i guess the that one's is i could never tell you i guess they beat me to it okay uh so where are you from originally uh i grew up in puerto rico in puerto rican woman you better come prepared because the stunners bring a lot to the table with their beauty comes intelligence a surprising dominance intertwined with soft femininity and if you play your cards right loyalty that will never falter Sounds like relationship material, right? I was born in Chicago. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What up, Casanovas? Today, we're in Chicago. Chirac. <laughs> the best way to find your market is to be active, animated. You got to be meeting with... Listen, let me tell you something. And this is real talk right here. Okay, I don't want you to take this real serious. I want, to take this, I want you to take this seriously. If you don't meet... Beautiful women frequently. If you're not meeting a beautiful woman per day, the fuck is wrong with you? The only excuse for that is that you didn't come outside. And it really still isn't an excuse because you got social media, you got all this other stuff. So if you're interacting with the world, you should be meeting women frequently all the damn time. Approaches before meeting up with my buddy Kevin. Excuse me. Hi. So, sorry, I did not mean to startle your girl with the fancy blazer. Uh -huh. um, I was just uh, meandering. I'm meeting my friend like an hour. You yeah. look super adorable Thank you. with your fancy blazer. Thank so I had you. to deviate from course for a second, risk it all, say hello. <laughs> What's your name? Because you have to increase your, 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 Can't your potential. Do the numbers game, guys. Right. Hey, how's it going? Hi. This is random, sorry, but you're very pretty. I just wanted to say hi. Thanks. <laughs> Thought I'd bug you for a second. <laughs> How's your day going? It's good. It's good? Yeah. Just chilling at the park? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being, uh, oh, it's good. I'm just doing the same, really. Yeah. You're being uh, pensive, thinking about the deep thoughts, like staring into the distance? No, just relaxing. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. What are you reading? Um, it's called Think and Grow Rich. Oh, that's a famous book. So if that's the case, that means that you would have to go through more people to potentially find the person that likes whatever quirky shit you're working with. So if you're not out there constantly meeting women and, 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 and meet and greet, then you're selling yourself short. And time is of the essence, right? Once a day comes and passes, the day passed. Mm -hmm. But if you're meeting at least one woman per day, that's seven women per week, that's 30 women per month. So if only one out of 100 chicks likes you, that means you got two things you need to be doing, improving you and increasing the amount of women that you meet. Boom, look at that. 200, 200 pounds, point two. Point two, point two, point two. I made this watch. Hey, how are you, how are you, how are you doing, what's your name? I said, oh, but I'm so uncomfortable to approach women, I get anxiety. Yeah, cause you're not doing it, bitch. Cause you're not practicing. Go do stuff that you like to do, and hopefully you'll meet someone there. I like, tell guys that all the you time. Like going to open mics or like mm. jazz events mm. or whatever it is, or the library. I don't mm. know if you're who, who I'm talking to here. Like it doesn't matter. Guys, go where you girls. go where the fuck you like. Yeah, go where you like. And you're gonna meet people that have similar interests, and that can be what you use to stimulate conversation. If you if you lack creativity that much that you can't think of something to say to a stranger, then at least if you're places where you have an interest, at least that could be what you talk about. Or go to church. 
<laughs> no, you can do that too because you can say, hey, um, did you enjoy the sermon? Yeah, absolutely. You see what so I'm much saying? to talk about right. after that. It's not about her liking you. It's not about getting her phone number. It's not about it going well and all this other dumb shit. It's about you just simply getting comfortable with, hi, my name is. And guys, we all know that image is four parts. Appearance, behavior, communication, and digital footprint. And after you get your appearance together, guys, you gotta go outside. And one of the questions I get asked most often, where do you go to meet quality women? Gentlemen, that's a broad question, but let me just tell you this. For me, it's pretty simple. I look at the things I like to do and the kind of women I like to interact with, and I act accordingly. <laughs> well, I'll say it again. I, I mean... you it, it works out for the better. Like you said, like you'll gain either way. Mm -hmm either experience or like, you know, whatever, a lesson, or she will talk to you, who knows? Like I said, this, at the end of the day, there still has to be risk, Yeah. right? And that's why a lot of women aren't in relationships and they want to be independent women and all this other shit. It's because they're avoiding vi uh, risk because the thought process is, oh, I don't want to fall in love with a man and I don't want to be vulnerable to a man because what if he cheats on me? What if he leaves me? What if this, what if that? I don't want to depend on a man. I don't want to need a man. So I'm going to tell myself that I don't need anybody. I can do everything all by myself and I'm a strong, independent woman and I'll be the man. I'll be, I'll be the, the valuable man. I'll go earn the money and I'll provide for myself. And all because they were afraid of that risk. That exactly. Love. That's my point. Love all the because risk. they're terrified do it anyway. of taking the risk mm -hmm. of liking a guy and relying on him for anything. And then what ends up happening is now they're going to be unsatisfied, unfulfilled as they get older, you know, 30s and, you know, early 40s. But even worse, when they get older, older, now they don't have anybody to... To, to, take, to, to take care of them. There's no continuity. Mm -hmm. There's nobody that owes you anything. There's no man that's like, this has been my woman for X amount of years. I see people meeting people in their 60s and 70s. Yeah, but what you're, like, ta what you're and, talking and about is, a, um, that's a very small minority. And the, and the point I'm making is, one of the main reasons to have children, one of the main reasons to pair up with someone and have children. So that you're not is, alone. Is, is, exactly. So that you're not fucking alone. That's a selfish reason to have kids. Mm, is it though? Because it you, you pay. No. Because it is because you, you're only doing. Like, mm, I mean, not you, that you're only but doing you paid it. it like but you paid it forward is my point though. You paid it forward when you raised them. Mm -hmm. You can only count on your kids to take care of you if you raised them. Right. You, they ain't going to take care of you as a shitty parent. So you're just paying it forward basically. And women don't realize that that's how relationships between men and women are. The woman is paying it forward because she's like, hey, I'm young, I'm beautiful, I'm yours. And then as time goes by, then he's like, all right, I'm, you know, stable now. I'm situated. I'm successful. I got a lot going on. But this, this is my old lady. She's been with me for how long? She gave me these children, blah, blah, blah. So that's why he owes now because she paid it forward when she was young and beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's the part that these women aren't getting. So if you're not willing to pay it forward and you're thinking to yourself, oh, no, I'll get married when I need it. I'll settle down with a man when I need it. When I'm older and I have less options and I, I, I don't want to go out and have fun and party anymore, I'm ready to settle down. Then I'll get with a guy. Mm. Whoa, 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 bitch. You're cheating the system mm. because you didn't give him anything of any value. You didn't give him you when you were young and beautiful, but now... You want him to, to be your safety net now and provide for you and take care of you and give you the stability now, right? Because working and being independent and everything like that, that sounds good when you're, you're a young woman. Isn't it forever a give and take? Because, like, what, women don't stop doing things, like, like I understand. it's a give and take throughout. Right, but listen to what I'm trying to say. When women are younger... Mm -hmm. It sounds... I give you my beauty it's, it's a, it's and a, my youth. It's, it sounds good to say... I don't need no man. I work. I make my own money. Yeah, because oh. when you're young, you don't mind working 40 plus hours a week. Right. Right? But when you're 40, I guarantee you, as a woman, <laughs> you do not want to be getting up no, and I working eight hours a day. Life. Can't wait. That's what I'm trying to say. So the guy is That's why I'm like still doing that. A guy is still doing that. Working to be a good partner and to be like a loyal partner and right. to be like get better at cooking you cleaning. gotta pay it forward exactly and that's paying forward. right because when that guy is situated he has a position of authority he's telling people what to do at the job now he's making better money 
And he don't mind going to work, you know what I'm saying, for, for 40 plus hours a week. He doesn't mind. And he's getting paid more now, okay? Mm -hmm. He doesn't mind it. But a female is not going to want to get up and work that many hours. And she's also not going to want to be as competitive as she would have had to have been to get to that level at the job that he would be at. Mm -hmm. Okay? He takes pleasure and fulfillment out of beating other men to become a higher earner. Mm -hmm. Women do not. Women would rather hold hands and say, no, let's, let's be equal. Let's everybody get the same. And everybody deserves... What? <laughs> what? They don't want to go in and destroy, destroy. Their, their co-workers. To, to, you see what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean there's, there's women and there's women, right? And there's also men there's men. There's some men that don't want to do all that work either. So. I, don't know, I don't know what kind of men you're describing. It doesn't sound like the type of men that women want. Right. And that provide for family and children and so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, every family is its team. It's team <laughs> home. And our team needs to win. We can't, we can't care too much about the other team. I ain't worried about them. I'm worried about putting food on my table and putting my kids through school, right, and making sure my woman is living comfortably. I can't be too much worried about my neighbor. Mm -hmm. if, he, if he's satisfied with the, the minimum, that's good for Dan, right? But over here, we're trying to take heads off. And that's the way I got to raise my children, right? You got you to gotta smash those other motherfuckers. Right? Exactly. You want your kid to be getting A's and, and, and B pluses. You don't want your kid getting a 65 and barely passing the class. Yeah, yeah. Right. But there's some other kids in there that's doing that. Mm -hmm. I don't care about those kids. I care about my kids. I, exactly. I care, I care about my, my home. Okay. That's, I got it. I got it. That's my point. And the, <laughs> and, the, and the wife needs to be thinking like that. Listen, I, wanna, I care about my husband's health. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure he eats his vitamins. I make sure that he eats well. I don't care about his coworkers. I don't give a shit if they get cancer. But my husband... You know what I'm saying? I got to make sure he takes care of himself because I need him to last, live long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Get old. Right, get old with me. Right. Hey, you get it. All right, sis. I need to remind him to go for a run and, like, everything. All, that all, the, all that naggy, naggy stuff. Don't right? forget to brush your teeth. Yeah, kids, you know your dad's taking a nap. Shh. Quiet down. Yeah, you know, it's a lifestyle to be naggy. I don't know about that, but I'm just, <laughs> just you, well, you know, I'm well, just yeah. I'm just saying, take care of your workhorse if you want him to. To take care of you. Produce. It, exactly, you get it. It's, it's a circle mm. of life, mm. for sure. And you also got to keep in shape, right? Because. Uh, yeah, I mean, in a healthy shape where you can stay active and like, you mm. know, not be like. <gasps> Find your market. That's all I can yeah. say. Find your market. Talk because to people. Be friends. Because you know what it is? People. That's why I hate when guys say stupid and shit. First, like, what's the best friend. body type? Or what's no. the best? It's like, dude, there's no such thing because there's all these different tastes and preferences. So there is no, like, look or body type that all the girls are going to like. Yeah, no. no. I guarantee Just be you. a good friend. And honestly, if she doesn't fall for that, for, like, mm. you being a reliable person, she's not the right girl and go find other people. Yeah, but these guys are trying to get laid. We ain't worried about well, that. Well, then, whatever. I'm not the right We ain't worried about that. You. you know what I mean? We ain't worried about that, you know? I thought y'all were talking about love. Yeah, yeah, it goes in steps, bro. First, you know, first be sexable. Be, be someone that women want to have sex with. That's the first step. The second step, actually be good in bed because the, the female orgasm is, 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 a, is elusive. So, so step one is getting in the bed with her. Step two is actually satisfying her, actually, you know, delivering in the bedroom. And then the next step is now being, um, you know, relationship material. And, you know, that's an even longer list. Being a provider, being dominant, having a plan, being confident, all that other shit you know, comes after being able to solve problems. So what I'm saying is it's a, a laundry list of things, but they do go in order, guys. And if something is missing or it's not in the right succession, it's not going to go well for you, I promise. Because if you do all of the provider relationship shit first and put that in the front and you're not physically attractive or you're not pleasing in the bedroom, there's going to be an issue somewhere in that lineup. And that's when you become the dude that's like buying the new washer and the dryer, providing the luxurious lifestyle, taking care of things, paying bills, blah, blah, blah. And then when you're off at work earning the money, she's on somebody else's Johnson. And then you're thinking, how could you do this to me? 
And she's thinking, how could you do this to me? How could you walk around unattractive? How could you sleep with me and, and it'd be terrible every time? How could you do that to me? That's what she's thinking. And guys, that never occurs to the guy. He's always thinking, oh, my God, you cheated on me, you disloyal bitch, and you cunt. And oh, and it's like, yeah, yeah, I get it from your perspective. But keep in mind, she's like, oh, I'm tired of having sex with this guy that's never, ever once given me an orgasm. I'm tired of looking at this guy, and, and, and every time I look at him, I resent him more and more. And is she telling him about it? Of course she's not. She's a female. It's not her job to tell him that. It's not, see, that, job is it? that's another thing you have to understand. As the man, it's your job to be aware. This is why women will say stuff like, I expect him to know. He should know. I want him to know. And guys think that that's not realistic. Like, I, I'm not a mind reader. <laughs> I'm not a mind reader. How am I supposed to know? You were supposed to have experience with women. could go and get a horse and 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 you don't know how to ride the horse you expect the horse to teach you I expect you to know how to ride horses no i disagree with you because like all horses like are different i mean are they every a girl is different the girl is walking towards me i don't want to open at this distance because it's going to be the same concept as when i i went in front of her and stopped her so you need to be getting her attention as far away as possible so if you're looking at the video I'm throwing up on the screen right now, I'm demonstrating the distance that you could actually open her from if she's walking towards you. It's going to be a safe distance where she can look up, see you, see you smiling, you're not a threat, and you're slowly starting to slow down your walk. And as a result of that, she's going to start slowing down as well, assuming you have a good vibe to you and you have good nonverbal communication. The one other piece of this that I want to add is that if she is walking towards me and I don't have enough time to get her actual attention without it being too close, I'd actually prefer you let her walk past you and then you go back and approach her and open her from the side. You have to want to please your female you know you have to want to and you have to have that determination and you guys got to be vocal with each other about what you like and dislike so because you, i don't think that you have to have all this experience to hold like on. Satisfy so you're them. telling me that women understand themselves i mean physically yes all human beings have questions but when it comes right to that sexuality okay and so, so, in that way, so, and intimacy so what happens when the guy is accomplished, he's done whatever he has to do to get to where he needs to be, and then the female is um, virtuous, she's pure, she, she hasn't been promiscuous, she has no previous partners or very few. Mm -hmm. uh, is that girl supposed to tell him what to do? She's, she can tell him what feels good and what doesn't. Her body is gonna tell him that. What oh. I'm trying to say is the experience of dealing with women, you have to come with that. You have to come with that experience. Oh, there's a lot of guys. There's a lot of yeah. guys that don't know what the fuck they're doing, and then they get in a relationship with a woman, and the shit's all over the place. And the right. guy is just like, I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know what. I don't know why she's acting like this. I don't know what this means. I don't know what that means. And then, hey, what's, what I do, babe? What I do, babe? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> and the girl's just gonna keep saying, nothing, nothing, nothing. And it's like, oh, obviously something's wrong. Clearly something's wrong. What is it? Yeah. That, that you see what I'm saying? That does come with experience. So you, men have to learn how to deal with women before even thinking about relationships and all this other shit. You don't buy a kid a car who doesn't know how to drive. It, just, it doesn't make sense. So guys can't expect the woman to teach them is my point. You can't expect the woman to show you how to be the man for her. But reverse... A woman can expect a man to show her how to be the woman that he wants her to be. Absolutely. What? Absolutely. So we can't tell you guys what we need or how we would hope for a man to be for mm -hmm. us, but you guys can tell us well, how you, a female you, you, should be. You should be able to. Now, so let both, me... Both should be able to, No, right? man. A woman does not know these things all the time. Think, oh. Okay, let me put it in a perspective like this. Or like it changes... Hold on. Let me put this... Hold on. Let me put this... Let, let, me, let me put this in this perspective for you motherfuckers just like this. If a woman is experienced enough to know, <laughs> okay, how to bring you up to speed, then she's already past her due date, guys. She's too experienced to wife up. You think about that. If she's experienced enough to put, a, to put a guy on, okay, to what he needs to do and how he needs to do it, 
that means that she's been with too many men already for commitment. So make that make sense. It cancels itself out. Okay? Right. I've had plenty of guys tell me if, if they're not going to wife a chick that's excellent in bed or she gives great oral sex and all this kind of stuff. And I used to be like, why? What's the big deal? And then it's like, bro, how do you think she learned that? And it's a good point. If a girl is, is really good at these particular things, it's like, hold on. Why do you have this much experience? So if you have that much experience with other men, that means you've been with too many other men for me to be making you my wife. It cancels out, guys. Because it's a problem. Right. If females it, do that, but it, if men do that, of course, it's not. of course, it's just not gonna it's not gonna go well for commitment. Now, huh. if now if a, now if a guy, I disagree. If a guy comes into a, a relationship wet behind the ears, and he doesn't have that multitude of experience, okay, explain to me how is he gonna lead? How is he gonna give direction? How is he gonna be confident in anything that he's done when he hasn't successfully done it in the past? How is he going to run a household and he's never run a household before? How is he going to lead a woman? He's never led a woman before. How is he going to solve a woman's problems? He's never solved a woman's problems before. But I think it comes from spirituality. Mm, for and spirituality, God, God, because if a, a man can be like submissive to God and like be a God-fearing man, all of that falls into place. Like you faith do, hold plays on, a really hold on. good you, part. Like you, you, do, is, you do realize that being in touch with the Most High comes with a wisdom. So already you're you're saying the same thing that I'm saying. If he is in, he, if he is submitting to God and he's in line with that, mm -hmm. that within itself is the wisdom that he's supposed to be leading with and, and bestowing upon the woman. And that's what I'm saying. I think like that's where it kind of okay, come from. That, but that's still experience is what I'm saying. That's still experience okay. he would have to go and get. All right, you can't. Okay, that's you, the message, guys. Right, you you can't, you can't be in the middle of something with your woman and be like, give me one second, let me go consult the book. I'll be right back. Oh, prayer, shit. Right? I know it's in here somewhere. Psalms 27. Is that? No, that's not it. Babe, give me one second here. Just let me. I know Jesus says something about this. It, you got to get your shit together first. You got to know how to, like, just not know how to, but just start talking to like God. That's all. Well, that too. But that's I'm just, it, I'm just saying that, the that comes from. It, you have to go seek it, guys. What I'm saying. Go seek it. Go get it and come bring it back. All right? Because it's your responsibility to you know bring a woman to these to these things to enlighten her and bring her to these things because the thing i was going to ask you is you're talking like men and women are equal or they're the same really all right so i don't think so, that so, they're so, equal or the same so I okay think that hold we on. should be able to express each ourselves so equally. answer so answer this question i don't think that they're the same so would you rather a man expose you to new things, or you would rather the woman be exposing him? I think it could work, I mean, equally. Um, but Equally? I mean, a woman can do that, and also, it's awesome when a man can do that. I mean, it's uh, great. I'm not just talking about she introduces you to a new thing here and there. I'm talking about you are the one that's bringing him up to speed in life. Okay. Or, is, or would you rather the guy be the one introducing you to all these new experiences? But I think that that happens no matter what. Like, because you, you bring two people together, they both have different things to expose each other to. Like, why is it... So you think an older woman dating a younger dude like is, is, is going to make as much sense... As an older guy with a younger woman? Well, with a younger guy? Oh, wait, what did you say? An older woman with mm -hmm. a younger guy. Mm -hmm. So you think a 30-year-old woman with a 20-year-old guy makes the same amount of sense as a 30-year-old guy with a 20-year-old woman? Well, a 30-year-old man who wants to date a 20-year-old woman, you know, buckle up, man, because you're going to have to go through a lot. Who's because gonna, who's gonna go through females life? at that age just want to have fun and, you know, like, they don't really know what they want, like you were saying. So you kind of have to, like, really reel it in. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that, what do you think a guy is doing at 20? Right, but if a guy at 20, let's mm. say 20, wanted to, like, his vision in life was to have a family and get married, like... 
So you and think, it, well, and you, it you wasn't think, to go you, have you think, fun. You think this 20-year-old guy is going to be able to operate with this 30-year-old woman in his role, in the masculine role. Oof, At 20 years old, hard. he's going to be able to deal with this 30-year-old woman. No, I mean, no, I don't think so. Not even, no. Not even he's close. Gonna, he has no experience to That's do that. That's my point. Whereas a female... At 20, a guy at 30, he's equipped to deal with that woman, regardless. It doesn't matter if she wants to be a party girl or whatever. The point is, at 30, he will know how to deal with that. Mm. All right? Yeah, okay. That's a good point. He would have already had that experience, been there, done that. And you know what he would have noticed and remembered? That when he was 20, the chicks his age were banging dudes that were 30. So he'll be right where he should be. Mm. It will make perfect sense to him. <laughs> right? Whereas the chick that's 30 is going to have to constantly compromise to tolerate this 20-year-old. Because she's going to have to keep reminding himself, herself, oh, it's not his fault. He's only 20. He doesn't know any better. Damn right he doesn't know any better. Okay? So he's going to be doing whatever she says to do, possibly, and even that's going to irritate her. So either way, it's not going to work. Because either he's... Not going to know what to do and fuck up, and it's going to piss her off and irritate her. Or he's going to do what she tells him to do, which is eventually going to irritate her. Ir irritate him? Her. Because she's going to feel like she's his mom. Mm. Women want you to already know what to do is my point. A woman doesn't want to have to stop and tell you, hey, babe, by the way, our anniversary is next week. So make sure, stop and get some flowers. Also, make reservations. My favorite, okay, you don't know my favorite restaurant? Well, let me remind you. Let me tell you again what it is. This is the website. This is the address. Go ahead and make sure you book that. Um, in a couple of hours, I'll remind you some other things. But why would a girl want to be with someone like that, though? That you have That's to do my that. point. They oh. want to be with a guy that has it together, right? So... You see a lot of women saying men are trash and all this kind of stuff. You know who doesn't even care? They're not even around to hear that? The, the, women, are trash. the women that have good oh. quality mm -hmm. men secured. You see what I mean? Oh, the, the women yeah. that love, respect, and admire their husbands and their husbands are attractive. He goes to work. He, he earns money. He takes care of his family. Those women, they're, they're like, huh? What would you? Men are trash. Is that? Oh, oh. Oh, okay, well, I'm not sure what you're talking about, you know. My husband isn't trash, so good luck with that, sis. They don't give a shit. You see what I mean? They don't care. Because they got their husband, and they have their family, and they're, they're chilling, right? Same thing with the guys that have beautiful women. The guys that have young, beautiful women that are loyal and honest and supportive and all that other bullshit. They don't give a shit about you guys whining and complaining about... Women are thoughts these days and all this other kind of stuff. It's like, yeah, whatever. My wife's not a thought. I, don't, I can't relate. I can't relate to you, right? So that's what I'm saying. You have to put your energy into getting that. Because when you're complaining about the price of gas going up and, oh, my God, did you see the prices of food in the supermarket? And, oh, my, rich people aren't, rich people ain't complaining about right. that. Rich people don't really okay. give a shit. That's interesting. You see what I mean? They put themselves in a position where they're immune to that. So that's what I'm saying is that we, you, you can't get hung up on how fucked up things are. What you need to be focusing on is, okay, how do I miss all that shit? Like, dog, like, miss me with that bullshit. How do I put myself in a position where that's not an issue for me? That's it. And you got your dude, so. Yeah. But if all of these women, including myself, are having issues, then I have to think, it might not be us. It might be you. It might be men. It might be men. Now, I've often talked about the pussification of America and how men are no longer men. I talk to my mom about this a lot, and she says, well, maybe it's just the guys in Texas. Maybe it's just the guys in Los Angeles. It is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not, they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country in the age range of about 20 to, I think, about 55, maybe even 60. A lot of men are trash. Oh. But yeah. single women are constantly complaining about the quality of men is my point. Single women are always like, oh, men are trash. And how come nobody wants to date nowadays? Well, how come you can't take women on a real date? Oh, I got a question for guys. Why do you ghost me? And uh, women in relationships aren't concerned with that stuff. No. Right. That's my boy. They're chilling. They, they got their dude. All right, man. And then you just got to steward that dude. I don't even know what that means, but okay. <laughs> Stu steward it, guys. Steward life. All right. Peace out. Tell them peace out in Puerto Rican. <laughs> eh. No bema. Bye. <laughs>